Determined to not rest on its laurels, Honda continues its focus on the Civic, this time advancing the 2014 Coupe with sportier styling, a retuned suspension, a new CVT, and interior enhancements. It's the best-selling compact car in America, and Honda understands that keeping it fresh is imperative to remaining at the top. Though the 2012 redesign was met with a thud, the Civic was quickly refreshed for 2013 to bring it back into the good graces of critics and consumers alike. And now for 2014, Honda is infusing some much-needed styling excitement into the two-door model to better keep it in line with its pinup competitors. New grill, bumper, fenders, hood, and headlight design combine to make a front end that'll have you checking your rearview mirror, while new taillight lenses, rear bumper, side mirrors, and flashier wheels round out the changes. I really like it. It gives this car a personality all its own, while not just being a Civic sedan with two fewer doors. And in this alabaster silver metallic, the Civic Coupe is positively attractive. Despite the Coupe's more aggressive appearance, you don't have to worry about this Civic becoming too hardcore. It remains totally civilized in every way, with a pillow soft ride and quiet cabin. The five-speed auto is now gone, replaced with an agreeable CVT, which aids in fuel economy. But if you're looking for a truer performance experience, turn to the Civic Si. Higher spring rates and a stiffer rear stabilizer bar help to keep the coupe feeling tighter in the turns. And indeed, it's a fun little drive, even if understeer is the predominant handling trait. But the good news is that even with its more buttoned-down persona, the Civic Coupe is as gentle on its occupants as any car in the class. There's a sport mode and paddle shifters to energize the CVT, resulting in quicker acceleration. And the iVTEC 1.8-liter four-cylinder produces three more horses, now rated at 143 thanks to a revised exhaust system. Going with the new transmission that's better fuel economy too, going from 28 MPG City to 30, while the highway number of 39 remains the same. An econ button can help you eke out a little more. Integrating tablet and smartphone-like controls, this new 7-inch display audio touchscreen allows you to swipe your way around to make music choices. But on this EX model, there is no navigation. To add that feature also requires leather seats at a total added cost of $3,750. But as is, this Civic Coupe EX, the number two trim level right above the LX, comes with a trio of new premium features. Smart entry with push button start, Honda Lane Watch, which trickles down from the Accord and uses a camera to display a live look at what's happening on your right side, and automatic headlight control. The bi-level gauge layout is still a unique design, and flanking the digital speedometer are graphics which change color to indicate how efficiently you're driving. The new audio display seems a bit much for not having many other functions, but there certainly is a plethora of music connection choices just no sat radio here. For a coupe, there's lots of rear seat room, and trunk space is also bigger than you'd think. All told, the Civic Coupe's interior is on the mark, both for size, fit and finish, and comfort. The price for this EX model with the automatic transmission is $21,880, while things like body side moldings, spoilers, fog lights, and bigger wheels are all on the options menu if you want to continue the racer looks. For testdrivenow.com, I'm Steve Hammes.